expectation was from their perspective? Yeah, I mean, I thought um, for the first game, 83 points. Um, 84, I guess. I, I mean, we'll take that. Um, you know, I thought the first half we were a little bit discombobulated. They did a good job pressure uh, defensively. Um, they have two quick guards and number one, Primo Spears, and, and number four, uh, the kid from South Alabama. Those two uh, smaller guards uh, did a good job pressuring us. Um, but 84 points and, and um, you know, shooting 50 Five percent from the field is, is uh, you know, I didn't expect us to play flawless basketball. We turned the ball over way too much in the first half, um, but that's okay. Like that's what this game is for: is to try to figure some things out and how we can improve. Mark, what, what did you just kind of find or, or learn more? What was cemented more tonight about this team's identity that you kind of tried to build throughout? You know, yeah, I, you know, I think. Um, a couple. One, it's hard to lead for an entire game because um, a game is, you know, a game of runs. There's usually three runs in every game, whether it's an NBA game or a college game. And if you can control two of the three runs, um, they had that one run um, where they hit a couple threes. It was like, like the last three minutes of the first half um, when we had the double-digit lead, and then all of a sudden it got cut back to, to four. Um, I mean, we, we learned a lot, you know, like, I mean, St. Thomas is playing all over the floor for us. He's, you know, when, when, he, when he was in the game, we were really good. I mean, we, um, you know, plus 34 in 20 minutes. I, I've never seen a plus minus like that in my life. Um, Cohen was plus 34 in his 20 minutes. Um, then the ball kind of moved uh, a little bit better when Josh was in the game because he likes to do DHOs and, um, but we got a lot of work to do. There's, you know, there's no question. I, you know, um, guys were playing positions maybe that they're, you know, they didn't know they were going to. When you're playing against yourself and you have two groups of, of five out on the floor, it's a little bit different than 13 guys. Um, and I, you know, I consciously wanted to play all 13 in the first half. That's that's super hard to do. Um, but I felt. You know, like last year in our exhibition game, especially against Purdue, I didn't get enough guys in. Um, I wanted everybody that you know that suited up to, to kind of get it, get in the flow. And, and um, you know, we learned some things like Matt Nolan, super important. Um, you know, you got to really understand basketball to see how he can contribute with his passing. I think he had five assists, and the way he leads us in rebounds tonight. So, super undersized. Um, but one of our best defenders, too. Saint seemed really comfortable in that go-to scoring role. Has that kind of been the, the case, really, from the jump with this team? Is that something he's kind of evolved into? No, I think, like, when we, you know, when we got the commitment, we felt like he was going to have to carry the load. And uh, I mean, the thing that, to me, that's most impressive about St. Thomas is he only took eight shots. You know, and, and super effective in late shot clock. And, um, you know, he can rebound the ball, he can pass the ball, he can dribble the ball. Um, I mean, he's got, he's got a really bright future ahead of him. I, I have not coached many guys, I guess Anthony Black and, and Cody Martin. Um, and Caleb could kind of play four positions, but Saint literally played five positions for us. Um, that's, I mean, other than Cody Martin, I, you know, I, I haven't had anybody be able to do that. Um, and then, you know, there's some guys like Buzo and, and Terrence Williams that, that, you know, they'll get more shot attempts, and I think we'll see their their roles evolve more than we did tonight, more than we saw tonight. I thought Shelly did a good job in his um, minutes, too. I thought he played his minutes, which is a player. The only thing you can control is contributing and doing the right things in the given minutes that the staff gives you. And I thought, I thought Jalen uh, took advantage of his opportunities as well for a young player. What have you learned as a coach about how to get that out of them, how to get a performance like tonight and, and get that emotion like tonight consistently out of them? Yeah, I think, I mean, he is an emotional player. Um, it's probably why we connect. Um, you know, in the locker room pregame, you know, he was probably our most vocal guy prior to the game, um, you know, which, which I like. I mean, I don't, you know, we don't really want a quiet locker room before. I mean, I think that, um, I mean, he's going to have to lead us in a lot of areas, you know, and, and uh, 
you know, he's just a guy that loves to play. Like he's, his practices are incredible, the effort that he puts forth uh, in practice. And then, you know, you want to see a player have that carry over the game. And certainly that was the case. How do you assess the point guard play tonight? What's that? How, do you, how did you assess the point guard play tonight? How would you assess it? Um, I would assess it as being adequate. Um, having said that, um, we really didn't, um, when this team was put together, we didn't have a true traditional point guard. Um, and the teams that we've had that have been good have not had true traditional point guards. So um, you, live, you live with some things that maybe don't always look cosmetically pleasing, but you hope that with length, you defensive rebound. You hope with length, you can guard the three ball better. So and Cody Martin was never a point guard and, and did a great job. And Anthony Black, a lot of people thought he was going to play small forward, and he ended up playing point the whole. So um, Desmond's been a great scorer his whole career. And so, you know, we're going to continue to, to work with him and talk about point guard play. And Saints probably never been a point guard. Um, like we're going to use him where he's kind of so, you know, Shelley's played a lot of point guard for us behind closed doors. So, you know, Clark was a off guard the entire time last year at Penn. So it's, you know, it's going to look funky at times, I guess. Coach, do you feel like so early, do you feel like you have a nine man rotation or 15 play starter tomorrow you can rely on nine guys? Yeah, I, I just told the team like um, Trey Wade was getting DNPs at Arkansas, and he just kept working. His attitude was incredible. And then all of a sudden, I'm asking him to go guard Chet Holmgren um, when we're playing Gonzaga and, uh, to try to get to an elite eight. So we went from DNPs to then guarding a lottery pick and was assigned to him every second that he was on the floor. So um, roles evolve. I, like, I told the team just now, like I have no idea what our rotation is going to look like in two months. Like they're going to determine it based on productivity. Uh, Jalen Williams never started the game this freshman year. And he started his first game, I think it was our second NCAA game. We beat Colgate and came off the bench. The next game against Texas Tech, we started. So we were still changing even after winning an NCAA game. And so I think our job is, we're all new. Like we're, we're trying to learn each other. We're trying to evolve what it looked like tonight. Rotation could completely change. We've got a couple of young guys, like how much do they grow over the next month? You know, we don't know. Um, but I certainly, we want to keep tinkering. Um, we want to keep evolving. We want to keep trying to figure out which guy can, can kind of play his way. And, and, and we're going to game plan based on who we play. So everyone's got their own philosophy. We don't, we don't just do what we do. We try to, whatever we did tonight, not that the results will be you know, even close, but like when we play Gonzaga, we've got to try to figure out and guard people a little bit different, play the post a little bit different, and they run high lows and they're great passing big. So there's a lot of stuff we gotta we gotta change up going into even another exhibition game. Let's do one more? Yeah. I don't have anywhere to go. I mean my daughter's <laughs> asleep, we can keep talking and my wife's not gonna watch power with Let's me. Do tonight, two. So. Let's do two more. Uh, oh, oh, really said you, you know, first basically the outside obviously it's an exhibition and you know fill a lot of seats, you know, empty you built programs you built a lot of energy around programs over your time. What's what's the strategy? What have you learned about trying to put, you know, fans in, in those seats? Yeah, I mean to us, um, I mean this game was scheduled super late. You know, like I mean I went to work today and my wife said, You guys play today? You know, because it's it wasn't scheduled well in advance. Um, and that's on you know that's on us. We wanted to try to find the right opponent that had some veterans. Um, you know, we were super thankful that UTSA made the trip here. We did not want to play a Division II school. I mean, that was, a, you know, well thought out on our part. We wanted to play a, a Division I school. And as far as promoting the game, um, you know, this was not, I never went to any fraternities and we didn't, you know, we, we're going to have to start doing stuff though. Um, and we will. And, um, you know, I don't know when it'll happen, but Galen will be, you know, hopefully, you know, in, in, in due time, we'll be sold out and be rocking. That's, um, you know, we did it in Rapid City Thrillers way back in, and had standing room only crowds. And, um, 
you know, we got to market, you know, well, I have to market, our staff has to market, our players have to market. So um, tonight was, I thought it was actually better than what I thought, to be honest with you. Um, I really did. And um, volleyball had a great crowd the other night. Um, they're playing well, they're winning. People want to watch them. They play super hard. So football crowd was great the other day. So like, they'll be there if we kind of do our part. So, um, and then we got to, we got to get creative and we can't just expect people to show like you got to you got to connect with the campus you got to connect with the community it's and it's not going to happen you know first time we play so we'll see see how it rolls out in a couple months excuse me um i don't think uh for sean ag played in the second half was there some thought process to that uh I, you know i think productivity in the first half was not um you know was not what we needed um so but he's a guy that um was in the starting unit um uh, four days ago and had been in the starting unit for i don't know probably a month and a half um, and then we had a closed or not a closed door because a lot of you guys were there but we had a scrimmage and josh cohen played really well um and so he got the start and um you know it's Productivity. We're not like you know. If, if I would have played it more, then somebody would say, "Why did Josh only play 14 minutes? Because he was plus 34." So Josh's parents are probably wondering why we didn't play more. He's plus 34 and only played 20 minutes. <laughs> Thank you, Coach Monk. Yeah. Thanks.